Welcome to Code Station, the place to make learning code easy and exciting. In this video series, we'll learn about sorting and various sort algorithms available to us. But before we jump onto the sorting algorithms, let's attempt to understand what sorting is and why it is so important to us. So what is sorting? Very simply, sorting is just arranging elements or objects in any required sequence. For example, let's say we had an array with these numbers, 12, minus 1, 3, 7, 9, and 4. If this array was to be sorted in an ascending order, the result would be this. Notice how the smallest number, that is minus 1, is at the beginning of the array, or index 0 of this array. And the largest number, 12, is at the end of the array that is index 5 of this array. Essentially, what we are doing here is comparing the magnitude of each of the numbers. If the magnitude of one number is smaller than the magnitude of another, we are placing the former number earlier than the latter. Similarly, if we were to sort this array in a descending order, we would arrange the highest number 12 at the beginning of the array at index 0 the next highest number 9 at index 1, and number 7 at index 2, and so on. Again, like before, we are comparing the magnitude of these numbers. If the magnitude of one number is smaller than the magnitude of another, we are placing the latter number before the former. It gets a little interesting if we were to sort these numbers in prime versus composite sequence. The idea is, we would like to put the prime numbers towards the beginning of the array and the composite number towards the end. But note that we have three prime numbers and three composite numbers. Among these prime numbers and these composite numbers, we have applied a secondary sorting condition. We have sorted the prime numbers in ascending order of their magnitude and composite numbers in ascending order of their magnitude too. Here, the primary sorting criteria is the type of the number, which is either a prime or composite. Then, the secondary sorting criteria is the magnitude of the number. When comparing two numbers, we compare according to the first sorting criteria, that is, the type of the number, first. If this comparison results in equality, that is, if the numbers are of the same type, then we use the second sorting criteria for the comparison. The idea of having multiple sorting criteria can help us sort any arbitrary objects. For example, let's say we have an object called animal with various attributes like height, age, color, and number of legs. If our first sorting criteria is height in ascending order, the second sorting criteria is age in ascending order, and the third criteria is color in order of how light they are, the sorted list would look like this. Notice how animal 1 has smaller height compared to animal 2. Therefore animal 1 is sorted before animal 2. Similarly, animal 3's height is 1.31 feet, a little higher than animal 2's height of 1.3 feet. Thus animal 3 is ordered after animal 2. Animal 4 on the other hand has the same height as animal 3 so we move on to the second sorting criteria, which is the age. Animal 4 is older than animal 3, and therefore it is listed after animal 3. Now animal 5 has the same height and age as animal 4, so we compare them using the third sorting criteria, the color. Since animal 4, which is white, has lighter color compared to animal 5, which is black, it is sorted before animal 5. Animal 6 has greater height than animal 5 and therefore it is ordered after animal 5. As a side note, animal 6 is just 2 years old compared to animal 5 that is 25 years old. It is much younger than animal 5. However, since age is the secondary sorting criteria, the comparison of height, which is the first sorting criteria, is all that is used to sort these two in this order. Well, this is one way to sort the list of animals. We would get a different sorting result if the sorting criteria was changed. For example, 
if age in ascending order was the first sorting criteria and height in ascending order was the next sorting criteria, we would get this result. Animal 2 and Animal 6 would have been the first two elements in the list as both their ages are 2 years. Animal 7 would have been the third element in the list with the age of 2.1 years. Animal 1 would have been next, Animal 3, Animal 4 and Animal 5 would have followed after that. So far we've dwelled into what sorting is, but why is it necessary? Well, unknowingly in our daily life, we have regularly used sorting techniques to reap out its benefits. For example, in our wallet, we usually sort the bills according to the quantity. We put $1 bills together, $5 bills together, $10 bills together, and so on. Why do we do this? This is so that when we're looking for a particular dollar bill, we can instantly find it. So for instance, if we are looking for a $10 bill, we know exactly where to look in the stack of money that we have. Similarly, while playing cards, why do we arrange the cards in a particular sequence? Again, so that we can find the card that we're looking for quickly. One of the most significant usage of sorting is in a dictionary. An Oxford dictionary contains about 171,000 words. If these words were not sorted according to their letters, imagine how painful it would have been to look for a particular word. Well, in the worst case scenario, we would have to compare the word that we're looking for with all the 171,000 words in the dictionary. Today, a lot of modern technology relies on using sorting. There are various search engines like Google and Yahoo, sales sites like Amazon, eBay, and numerous travel sites, online banking sites, social networking sites, etc. that allow users to use their sorting techniques so that the users can find the results that they're looking for in a much faster way. Thus, the whole point of sorting is for a better and quicker search algorithm. In computers, sorting is fundamental to most other algorithmic problems. For example, the binary search. Binary search is essentially analogous to searching for a word in a dictionary. The search steps are logarithmically reduced in the binary search. This search technique assumes that the original search domain is sorted. The importance of sorting in computers can be outlined by the fact that about 20% of CPU cycles are actually spent doing sorting. There are various sorting algorithms available, which are usually differentiated by their time efficiency and their spatial requirements. The type of application that you are writing will dictate the type of algorithm that you should choose. For example, if you are constrained on space in your system, and the time it takes to run the algorithm doesn't matter much, you could use an algorithm that takes longer to run but doesn't consume much space. In this video series, we will be discussing these sorting algorithms. Bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort, quick sort, and heap sort. Please follow my channel to watch this series and any other related videos. I hope you liked this introduction video. Don't hesitate to comment if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. I'm also all ears to any concerns or comments about the video itself. Thank you for watching.